Hello friends, there have been many articles, images, videos, research studies by many experts like physiotherapist, physiatrist, chiropractitioners, educationist, orthopedicians and nowadays the yoga teachers also on posture. Posture is a state of body alignment in standing, sitting and lying which has, ex which has been explained by many of them. It is also said that posture is not under our conscious control. Then what is posture controlled by? Definitely the answer is postural muscles. Now what are these postural muscles? What controls the postural muscles? Then definitely the reply is postural reflex and postural mechanisms. So is it not a matter to be thought of? As a student of biomechanics, I always used to wonder that why posture is said to be controlled by postural muscles? Why the word posture muscles are not used? Why posture control is not quoted? Why posture mechanisms are not specified? And hence, I had the quest always that instead why they were addressed as postural control, postural mechanisms, postural uh, guidelines. So definitely there had to be some meaning of this word postural. Then as a neurophysiotherapist, I always came into these phrases that proximal stability is must for distal mobility. That is central stability must for peripheral mobility. Also, it was mentioned that symmetrical control, bilateral control, bilateral movements are required for central stabilization, for postural alignment. So definitely movement was an intricate part of all these things. Also it was always quoted that movement and posture goes hand in hand. Posture follows a movement like a shadow. Then it was also mentioned and is always believed also that walking is said to be the best postural correction exercises. And then I came across this feed forward mechanism. What are these feed forward mechanism? They explain that the central nervous system activates the postural muscles in anticipation to the movement performed by the limbs. So here also the limbs and the activity of the limbs definitely has a role to play. So all these things definitely made me wonder that there is something more than just a state of position or an alignment of the body when we talk of posture and hence I went deep into the subject. Friends, I'm proud to be a physiotherapist. I'm privileged to be a clinical psychologist, but I'm blessed to be a yoga student. And that's how I went and I complement, uh, I, you can say I contemplated a lot on this meaning of the word postural. And then I came across the medical dictionary and which specified as postural means just not a state of body or a position of a body. Postural means definitely a position of the body where we keep in mind the structure of the body. Postural also means the attitude of the body where we try to understand the power of mind. And postural also indicates carriage of the body. So here comes the spirit. With what spirit, with what self-esteem, with what self-image with what concept of self we carry this body and hence my belief strengthened into this concept that posture needs to be viewed holistically. The body, mind and spirit concept all three have to be con con uh, understood when we talk about posture and postural health and hence I felt that postural health is the topic is the matter which we all need to take up because we all know that movement begins in a posture and ends in a posture.
Also, we are aware that posture and breath are so intricately connected. If we consider all these areas, then definitely we can understand the meaning about and the collaboration that the spirit, mind and body, all three that can have in taking care of the posture, postural health. So friends, it's very really, very important to go into the depth of this subject. A thinking therapist will never consider a patient as a technical gadget and give guidelines technically. A thinking therapist is aware that the etiology and the psychopathology of any um, dysfunction, disease or disorder is not the same and cannot be followed in a standardized pattern. And that's how a firm foundation needed to be uh, taken into consideration when we uh, try to guide our patients that come for physiotherapy uh, holistically. And that's how I felt I took up this series on postural health where I am going to focus on different aspects of postural issues holistically whether it is posture or holistic view, whether it is postural health or holistic approach, postural mechanisms, postural control, postural guidelines, benefits of good posture, uh, postural ergonomics, poor posture and what are the consequences of ill health because of poor posture, definitely biomechanics and pathomechanics of posture and definitely above all the yoke postures. These yoke postures which I would be discussing with, will be with biomechanical analysis and the mental, physical and the spiritual health benefits that they can have. So friends, let us just not understand posture as just a state of body position or an alignment. It has a great message to convey which I will be explaining or I will be expressing my views in the forthcoming videos. Your suggestions, your opinion and your critical analysis is most welcoming because I always have understood that you learn more by criticism than by applauds. Thank you so much.